This is Amit Walia. Once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. And this video is going to be very special for those students who are preparing for J and NEET examination because from this video, there is a high probability that you may get one question from this particular video that I'm going to explain in another two to three minutes. The examiner this year, there's a high probability that you will get the question from the inert pair effect. And what would be the question that examiner may ask that I'll discuss in the same video. So before starting this video, I would request to all the students, please like, subscribe my channel and press the bell notification button. Okay, let's start the important concept that I'm going to explain to you. There are the two possible oxidation number state with plus three and plus one oxidation state from this year there's a high probability that you will get question from this particular order that I'm going to explain now you have to remember there are five elements in the group 13 what are these boron aluminium gallium indium and thallium that is to remember these elements there is a short trick bo bangan alu gobi in thala okay bangan alu gobi in thala now what you have to keep in mind the stability of plus three oxidation state decreases as we move down in a group the stability of plus three oxidation number decreases it means boron with plus three oxidation number is more stable as compared to aluminium as compared to gallium they even don't show plus three oxidation number state okay you have to remember as we move down in a group that is from top to bottom the stability of plus three oxidation state decreases but if we come to the next point that is very star point and examiner has been already asked the question from this particular order okay now you have to keep in mind once again the stability of plus one oxidation state stability of plus one oxidation state increases as we move down in a group from top to bottom it means thallium with plus one oxidation number is more stable than indium than gallium boron aluminium boron with plus one oxidation state will be the least stable because boron with plus three oxidation number state will be most stable so you have to remember these two orders that is stability of plus three oxidation number from top to bottom decreases as well as the stability of plus one oxidation number from top to bottom increases examiner may ask from this year particular order you have to give in mind this is very very high chance that you will get the one question from these two points if in your board examination the similar question asks why the stability of plus one oxidation states of boron family increases from top to bottom or plus three oxidation state decreases from top to bottom so you have to just write it is due to the inert pair effect okay in one word you have to just write inert pair effect it is due to the inert pair effect okay let's discuss two more important concepts uh, they may ask the similar order of Lewis acid character if if we keep changing the elements of group 13 that is boron aluminium gallium indium and keep the halide like fluchloride bromide fluoride as same like bcl3 alcl3 gacl3 incl3 then as we move down from top to bottom the Lewis character decreases Lewis acid character decreases it means bcl3 is strong Lewis acid as compared to ALCl3 then gallium GaCl3 boron trichloride aluminium trichloride okay now the second important concept that you have to keep in mind if we keep same as the element like boron 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 and changes the halide like fluoride chloride bromide iodide in that order as you move down top to bottom Lewis acid character increases it means BI3 strong Lewis acid as compared to BF3 you have to remember this point these are the two important again these are the two important concepts that you have to keep in mind first one is stability of plus 3 plus 1 Lewis acid top to bottom decreases as we keep the halide same but as we changes the halides top to bottom it increases now come to the basic strength order what would be the basic strength order from the group 13 family they may ask these types of the question and there is a high probability that you will get the question from plus 3 plus 1 oxidation state okay now come to, come to the basic strength okay top to bottom basic strength increases you have to remember whether it may be the oxide of the group 13 family or the hydroxide of the group family now what you have to keep in mind the 
oxides and the hydroxides of the group 13 family their basic strength increases from top to bottom it means b2o3 al2o3 go2o3 in2o3 tl2o3 as high basic strength similarly if we compare the hydroxides alo3 the tloh whole 3 is high basic strength no matter whether it is a oxide or hydroxide the basic strength will be increases as you move top to down top to bottom clear you have to remember all these five points that i have explained now if someone uh, who wants to learn all the concepts of the group 13 and i have already uploaded a video of complete notes group 13 for je and neat aspirants and i'll provide the video link in my description please check the description of this video you will get the group 13 link from that link you can study the whole group 13 and i have also uploaded the rest of the globe p block groups like group 15 16 18 you may watch these all such videos on my youtube channel that is anud wali youtube channel and i would request to please share the videos as much as you can because everyone has the right to get the free education that is provided on this platform and thanks for watching i hope all are doing well they'll perform best in their examination my best wishes always with you keep studying god bless you all thank you